Well, hello there, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, this is the editor speaking. Yeah, I'm very sorry. I apologize for this to be a little bit post commentary because OBS at the time decided. <laughs> well, OBS at the time decided to uh, screw me over really, really bad with the voice recording, the voice audio. It's not nice. It's not nice. So, I mean, I definitely don't want to waste the footage, but at the same time. You know, the mic, <laughs> the mic audio cannot be salvaged at all. It's just, ah, frustrating. So, you might be wondering, what the hell is 2B doing in this game? <laughs> well then, ah, let's just say I decided to uh, give the longsword a bit of a, you know, the good old college try. Because I've never really ever used it before, now that I think about it. But, you know what? Since I am using the longsword, right, I thought I might as well bring along, uh, let's say, an appropriate, maybe not so appropriate, <laughs> costume for the occasion. So, right now, fighting Barrios with a longsword, wearing a 2P costume. So, anyway, let me just try to explain a bit of what I'm trying to do here, right? Even though I don't have any experience with a longsword whatsoever, fighting a Barrios is fairly straightforward, even though he's, you know, quite fast for his size and quite annoying with his hitboxes. Generally, what you want to try to do with this guy is, number one, try to take out both of his arms and basically break those as soon as you can. What this does is it makes it so that the Barrios, whenever, anytime he, you know, jumps around, does a leap, right, dives down, it makes it so that he stumbles every time, right? And what that does it leaves you a little bit of an opening, a little bit of a window to do some poke damage into him in between him doing his attacks, right? So if you want to think of it as a fighting game somewhat, it's like when your enemy pulls out a very, very big flashy move, right? But if he manages to whiff that move and not manage to hit you with it, there's a long, long ass recovery time where you can do, you know, basically a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, not a lot of stuff, a little bit to him, right, before he can essentially recover to do another attack, and that's the principle, essentially, to breaking both of Barrett's arms. And then, after you've done that successfully, then you can try to focus on, you know, breaking his face, breaking his teeth, and then breaking his tail. Breaking his tail actually only affects, as far as I'm concerned, only one of the attacks, his tail swipe particularly. So it basically removes the AoE aspect of his tail swipe and reduces its range. So it's still not not that bad, not that, you know, pretty useful to take out the tail. But again, the priority basically would be to just take out his arm. So, and now, with no further ado, let me just leave you a, li a little bit of a montage to finish up this fight. And then we'll move on to the next part of the main campaign so i'll see you then like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed your time here that would be much appreciated well, thank you i'll see you in the next video
eliminated. Let's find those two and complete our mission. Saber. During our search, we noticed a Baryoth was nearby, so we hid. Thanks to you, we were able to have a really good look around. <laughs> For one thing, the ship was covered in gashes from an attack. A Baryoth isn't capable of something like that. It came from something far, far more dangerous living here. Then, we found this. It looks new. Whatever made this must be close. How about you? Find out anything? Frozen monsters. Huh. Baryoths aren't known for that sort of thing. So then... <sighs> Singing? Legiana flock. No, it's heading for Astera. My word. Everyone thought it was just a mere myth. But there it is. Valkana. What now? Believe in yourself, little moon. You are closing in on the truth. But... You're going to need her help. That Elder Dragon is going to be a problem. We'll meet soon. Whatever happens, please, please be careful. <laughs> Let's go, partner. But yeah, I'm always concerned when it comes to cutscenes in this part of the forest. It's always so dark. Sometimes you can't see shit. Hey. Oh, this is daytime. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Unnecessary pepperonis. Five yards. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't even realize it was that. Oh my God. From the front. I, okay. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Just right there. The areolas. Oh boy. You know what? You know what? We're limit testing today. We're limit testing today. Let's see. Let's test YouTube. See how how far we can get away with this shit. <laughs> we might as well. Like you could see literally half of the nips. <laughs> oh god. Well Guess I'm not using this armor set for long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. Oh. And the wound tattoo as well. Right up front. Right up front. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. In a bit. God, check out that lighting under you. Fire coming out of the... Rasalos' mouth. Huh. Nice lighting. Yeah, there- Jesus Christ, I'm shiny as fuck. What? <laughs> Just... Wound tattoo. Right front and center. You gotta Let's love it. Back and share the news. Okay, but I don't know why she's so happy. Not for long, though. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Ah, nice. Ooh. No, we want to deal with this guy's tail. 
as soon as possible, right? I think reason being is because it still definitely has its most dangerous attack, I feel like. Just do this. Yeah, and one more of those should do the trick. There we go. Now it's time to rise. I mean, I mean, I didn't even need to do the whole slashy thing. Just the claw grab <laughs> was enough to tenderize it at that, at that point. We definitely need to take care of that tail. Nope. Into the wall we go. There we go. It doesn't seem to have a lot of HP though. Right? If the wall damage is anything to go by, because I feel like, or not feel like, as far as I know, the wall bank damage isn't... Uh, is it based on anything except the monster's max HP, right? It's supposed to deal like a flat percentage of their HP when you bang them against the wall. So that's something to think about. Ouch! There we go. Once we get him knocked down, perfect rush on that tail. There we are. There we go. Nice. Let's do this quickly. There we go. What? Okay. Well, guess we get to do that again. We are. Okay. Perfect rush. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. And there we go. Okay. There he is. Did you miss me, buddy? Oh, no. No. He's enraged. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God for Temporal Mantle. Ooh. Ooh, that could have been really bad. We can just do this. And there we go. Into the wall. Nice. Okay, that's an angle. There we go. <laughs> I almost thought that wouldn't hit. Do that again. Do that again. Ooh, there we go. Love it. <laughs> oh, so we just arbitrarily decide. I swear to God, if you get killed by those by this Rattalos, you know what? I'm just going to watch. Yep. Yep. This guy took 2,000 more damage, and he's still somehow not dead. Okay. Oh, there we go. See, I was about to say... <laughs> I, I definitely count that as a Rathalos kill. <laughs> the Rathalos killed that guy and left him at 1 HP, basically. After taking, you know, 2,000 damage. Like, Jesus. Okay, so. Right. That's going to have to be it for now. Uh, we'll just, for the next episode, we'll deal with Glavinus and we'll head straight to Vulcana after that, right? I want to keep these videos short, but anyway, anyway, thank you again, everyone, for uh, joining me. <laughs> this is me right now. Thank you so much. It's been my privilege. I'll see you next time, okay? Okay? See, Cat is, Cat is worshipping the Gat right now. This, is, this Cat is a man of culture. <laughs> it's just, yep, yep, that's a very nice Gat. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy. There he goes. What's he doing? What are you doing, man? Oh shit, that's not good. Oh crap. Oh shit. He just pulled the blicky on. <laughs> okay. That I wasn't expecting. Ah, I see. Now he just backstab you. <laughs> Idiot. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, backstab you too. <laughs> oh, gave me a jump scare. <laughs> In excruciating pain is to just wince with my eyeballs. And that was about it. That was about it. That was the best right. Shit. Okay, get down. Get down. If you haven't had the pleasure, the privilege, <laughs> the privilege experience of having someone take an electric drill to your gums right oh shit that can be good right you haven't really experienced life 
So basically, you just... You, I mean, you, I didn't even have... Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no,